Hi friends! Today is gonna be my reading vlog for Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Stanbury. <laughs> Lizelle. She is an author tuber here on the YouTube and she will be linked down below. Her book Blood Like Magic comes out today as you're watching this. It should be out into the world. I have read the book already uh, and went to edit all of my clips of this vlog for you and at some point I must have deleted the opening so this is me at the end of my journey filming the beginning. Hi and boy it were a journey. Uh, Blood Like Magic follows Voya, who is a witch who lives in Toronto. She is a part of this family of witches and they all have a calling in their prepubescent years and essentially they are, are given this task and whether they pass or fail the task it determines if they will continue to have magic and what their magic will be. And Voya is given this task to either kill her first love or her family will lose their magic and the book goes off from there. Uh, definitely involves a lot more than that but an interesting premise to begin with nonetheless. Um, since I don't remember what I talked about at the beginning um, and my first update is at 16% <laughs> um, we're just gonna roll you on into that. Um, hope you enjoy it. Okay so I am 16% in and I want to talk about some things. My goal was to kind of update more throughout the book but I am having a really good time so I'll probably just like update at 15, 30, 45. A few things that we should talk about. First off this book is set in the future and possibly an alternative future. I could be wrong about that but definitely set in the future. Okay there's some definite uh, mentions of societal issues as far as race and class and so I'm definitely not the person to give you that that type of like uh, nuance of is this accurately portrayed or not that's not me uh, so if you want to know like that aspect go see an own, own voices reviewer um, but I can at least give my opinion on it okay next thing to discuss if you are squeamish about blood not the book for you. Okay. The very first scene is it, it's so visual and visceral and it's so good and I knew what the first scene was because Lizelle and I had actually talked about it before just vaguely like this is you know the first scene of the book and some people have been you know it's awesome and other people have kind of been turned off by it so so I knew what the first scene was but it was done very very well and it's done in a way that it you know not only introduces like this weird aspect of their world which is not weird but to, to us it's weird but to them it's normal so it introduces this weird weird aspect of their world but also introduces some of like the technological advances that they have from where we are now and also some of the societal changes and things like that the very beginning opening scene does an amazing job of just kind of giving you an idea of where you're at in the world now as far as the book goes as i said i'm at about 15 16 percent so I feel like at this point I have a decent idea of the world that they're in, the technological advances that they have, uh, the magic system. Like I feel like I have a good idea of how some of these things work. I do have some questions about things but at this point like it's okay to have questions. Like if I finish the book and I'm still not sure how these things operate then that's a problem. But at this point it's totally fine to still have questions. But uh, which is good because that means it's not like super info dumpy right at the beginning, right out of the gate. So I really like the family aspect of it and it's kind of a weird thing because usually if you have a large family like this, like a large cast of family, typically the characters are presented to you majorly that they're like nice characters and that they you know are super loving and love each other and this family is not that. Like I'm not gonna say they don't love each other because I haven't seen enough of it to know for sure but for the most part I'm not sure that they really like each other if you know what I mean. Like they definitely are like we all hate each other but we're family so we'll live with it. It may not be that extreme. Um, 
but there's definitely some some questionable personality clashes okay so far there has been some trans rep and I think that was done really well uh tying in with the magic which again I can't speak on that so own voices review for that as well um but I think that it was the way that the trans rep was tied into this magic part of their world was done really well um, and also into the technological aspect of their world and the advancement of the societal issues. It's like, <sighs> Lizelle did a really good job, again, so far, has done a really good job of merging societal, technological, and magical things into today's issues and advancing them for the future. Like, the things make sense. Things aren't perfect. They definitely still have a long ways to go but things have advanced, but the things that are still a problem um, are still a, are a problem now. And it, I don't want to say it makes sense that it's still a problem, but like, as you see it, you're like, yeah, that tracks. Okay. So, so far, really enjoying it. Uh, I like the main, the, the main cast of characters here, Voya and Case, both like them. Alex, I've enjoyed Alex so far. Um, not too sure on like the aunts, the uncles, the grandma, like I'm not not so sure about the rest of them. Um, but there's still time. It's, it's been interesting so far, but I am really enjoying it. So I won't say that I haven't had any moments of just like confusion, because I definitely have. But that to me is similar in all any any type of fantasy story where you're either getting like a new magic system, a new world, a new society, uh, you know, something like that. Like you always have that moment of like, huh? And then you reread the paragraph and you're like, I think I get it enough to continue on. So I, I definitely think I've had like that huh moment, but not anything more than what I typically see in a book like this. So enjoying it, have questions, uh, have enjoyed just the aspects of the, again, societal, magical, social, technological, like, the, the technological advances are very interesting. And I'm curious to see, and, and like down to like ads, and like the way that that ad the technology of ads and how they have advanced, and the technology of um, just like people communicating and it's it's been interesting. So um, I'm gonna go back to that and I'll talk to you guys here in a little while. Okay, so like, I know I said I was gonna wait. Whew, I know I said I was gonna wait until I was at like 30%. I'm only at 20, like I haven't read very much more. <laughs> wow. You wanna talk about fucking steaks? Holy. Like, I'm still in the middle of the scene, so, like, it, it may, like, go completely <laughs> off the rails. But, damn! The main character boy is having to, like, make a decision um, on what she wants to do for her calling. If she wants to accept the... I'm actually crying. Uh, <laughs> accept the challenge or not. Uh, if she doesn't accept the challenge, then she will lose her magic and every every witch born after her will lose their magic. But if she accepts the challenge and she fails, then everyone in her line currently tied to her family will lose their magic. <laughs> the stakes that were just put on her whole family losing their magic? is resounding. Like, the fact that... <laughs> shit. The fact that in 20% of a book, they were... Uh, uh, the fact that in 20% of a book, she was able to make me care about a thing so much that the idea of losing that thing literally has me in tears. I mean, that... Ooh, I can already tell you this book is gonna kill me. I can't. I can't. So. <laughs> I just. 
was not expecting that at all. Like we just got another character. Um, there was like another scene, we got another character with like this big, like, you know, the dun dun dun, like the moment, you know, where where there's like more backstory introduced that you didn't know about and the main character doesn't know about. There's like some shit going on, like some totally like shady shit going on in the background. And that's one, th like I was, I read that and I was like, all right, all right, we're getting there. And then this, A, not what I was expecting, B, was not ready for it, and C, I like, I need to go back to reading this book now. Okay, cool, bye. <laughs> Have we moved? I don't know. It's been a couple of days. Uh, I am actually sitting on the couch currently filming um, with my tripod on the couch. So if it's off level, that would be why. I did read a little bit yesterday. So I'm at 33%. I am really enjoying the book. Um, I'm having a really good time. Like, I want to say like we've had our meat cute but was it really a meat cute like we've had the meat hate for sure I think we've also possibly had a meat cute um that I am really enjoying I love that Avoy's whole family is just essentially in denial of what's going to happen and Voya's like, why are you all acting like this? It's going to happen. Um, I'm not going to tell you what the thing is that's going to happen because that would be a huge spoiler. But like Voya basically is like, no dude, it's going to happen. And they're all like, but it's not going to happen. She's like, but no, it's going to happen. And there's this whole thing, and I know it's going to come up later, and I don't know. There's some things, like there's some, some like on the surface, the book is Voya being told that in order for her family to keep their magic she has to kill her first true love which she doesn't have so like that's like the whole basis of the story but also there's this second plot line where we know that there is this person in power that her family really hates mm -hmm. we don't know why she hates them like what's the reason behind that we don't know that and then also one of Boya's childhood friends is missing um, but she's from a different like magic sect than what her family is from and her family's like we don't help those witches like we don't we don't fuck with them we don't mess with them we don't do the things they do and so like even though they probably could help her family find her they are not doing so and Voya is very much like as soon as I get my shit under control I'm gonna do everything I can to help find her whether my family says it's okay or not and so I'm wondering if all of these things are gonna kind of like have some sort of a convergence maybe I don't know for sure but I feel like that's probably all gonna have something to do with one another by the time we get to the end of this so um, it's hard to believe like when I'm when I'm reading it that I'm only 33% in because there's been so much that has happened and I'm just I'm loving it I love Voya's family like not the family that uh, we've discussed her family so like <laughs> a lot of them I really don't like um, but like Alex and Case I really enjoy so um, and, and, and I can't decide if I like her grandma or not like <laughs> You know how there's that character that's just like you want to like her because there's like some moments but also you kind of want to stab him in the eye socket. That's kind of how I feel about Boya's grandma. So I've got feelings, I've got some thoughts, and I'm ready to get back into it and see what happens. Okay, current stakes. We're at 62% of the book. So I have 40-ish percent left to go because math and I <laughs> I've spent quite a few of the last few days in what I would like to call a vaccine coma which is essentially what happens when you get your second vaccine and then you are just useless for days and uh, your brain doesn't cooperate and you don't retain knowledge so I'm very behind on finishing this so I have to finish it tonight so let's talk about all the things up to so far, and then I'm gonna get back to reading. So where we are now, there's definitely been a lot more that has happened. The stakes have definitely raised. We've got a better idea of who all of these characters are. They're very 
layered, dimensional. I like the family members more now than I did before and I think it's just because I know more of like their motivations and their backgrounds and their history. Um, there's definitely a couple of other mystery things that are like going on that we're kind of piecing together along with everything else that Boy is dealing with. I really loved um, like this most recent chapter that I finished. Um, one of the cousins, Alex, said something superbly astute about Boya and about um, her place in the family and it's something that she sees that everyone else really doesn't see and the way she expresses that and and how like she's trying to make everybody in the family see what she sees. Impeccable, loved it. Um, there were there have been some great moments with Alex overall but that was definitely like a key moment for me. I am loving what I've read so far, loving this world and like all of the different um, the different families and the way their magic is all different and how they're similar and how the families are all connected and tr really trying to figure out like the mystery aspect of it like what's gonna happen and I'm just I'm engrossed. I want to know more and the only way I'm gonna get to know more is if I read more. So I'm off to read some more and I will either update you at 80-ish percent or at the end. I don't know. What, whatever happens happens y'all. So Let's get to it. Uh, hi, 80% in. Crying again. No, no big deal. No big deal. Just continuous crying. Not a problem. I hate this book. <laughs> like I hate it and like it's just making me cry. Progress. Moving forward. Bigger plot lines. Um, things are kind of starting to wrap up but also still like a, the big the big thing has not happened yet I kind of have an idea of what's gonna happen but I, I mean of what could happen let's say that I have an idea of what could happen not probably gonna have any clue what actually happens because this book is went in so many different ways that I was not expecting I don't have words like they hurt uh I just like why? <laughs> I laugh at myself because I'm crying. It's fine. I'm pretty sure one of the first clips of me talking about this book was that I didn't necessarily love Voya's family. And her family is what's killing me right now. And like, as I said in the last clip, they are becoming more their own people and you're learning more about their lives and who they are and the things that they've done for each other and for their family and you're learning more about like the other uh, witch families and things that they've done for their families and things pe people have done for Voya and just her having to make these decisions and, and decisions that people have made and what they've done them for and <sighs> why is it so good? Like Oh god, I hate Lizelle right now. I'm sorry. But also, like, in the best way possible. I'm, I have 20% more to go. Not ready for it, but going in. <laughs> oh god, there was just like, so much, so many scenes, so much good, so much sad. Okay. I'm going back to it now. <sighs> I'm fine. Okay, but like it's been five seconds and like... Is this a spoiler? I don't know. Granny has a metal tooth and it's hardcore. No one is as hardcore as Granny is anymore. I love it. Like I just, I just fucking love it. Okay, anyway, moving on. I, I keep, I keep... It's been five seconds. <laughs> It's been like another five seconds and shit just got deep and I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, <sighs> it's actually been like, I don't know, 15 minutes, but seriously though, like the whole thing. Like I had this thought earlier, like I had this thought earlier, but like no one else had the thought. So I just was like, yeah, whatever. But then the, but then someone had the thought and I'm like, wait, was I right from the beginning? And this whole thing has just been like a hot mess. And I don't know what I'm doing and I can't. <sighs> Some shit's about to happen basically is where I'm going with that. So that should be fun. Cool. 
Hello 895th plot twist, how are you doing? I'm fine. Not fine. Oh god. Like, <laughs> when you're just reading for 10 solid minutes, sobbing while you're reading, it is my absolute favorite thing. <laughs> oh god, why? Um, I'm still only at like 85%? Like, I still have a lot to go. I still have a lot to go. Um, but, yeah, like, another plot twist, because I needed another plot twist. I'm sure there's going to be more, because there's still so much left. And I can't. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh. I literally just don't have words, so... I'm going back to reading now. Okay, thanks. Bye. 89%. Some shit just went down like some serious bullshit. Like it went and then a thing happened and then another thing happened. And then a thing happened. So like obviously I'm freaking the fuck out and like I can't tell you about it. So like this is the perfect moment to tell you all that. <laughs> this is the perfect moment to let you know that I have a um um, a discord server set up uh, for a buddy read for this book that I'm gonna go back through when my physical copy of the book comes in and, and actually like write it in my thoughts per chapter because um, I have it set off like per chapter so that's linked down below so if you want to like read the book like sometime in the next 30 days and come hang out with me and chat in the discord server it's gonna be linked down below and so we can talk spoilers and we can talk about all of my fucking feelings okay uh back 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 to the book now. Okay, I have to know what happens. <sighs> Lizelle, I still hate you. So that you know, okay? So we're both on the same page. I still hate you. Um, so I'm finished now. Um, I'm not going to... <laughs> I'm not going to rate it in this video because I feel like I'm way too emotional from that ending to like make an actual rating that's not going to be completely biased by my current emotions um but you know it's definitely gonna be up there uh because I really enjoyed it obviously from all of the crying um so there's a couple things that I do want to talk about like I read through uh Lizelle's acknowledgments though as well and she does hit on a lot of like the main themes of the book as far as like the book being like a love letter to Toronto which is where she's grown up and to black families who have you know for the past few generations have been raised in the western culture and how hard it is for them to track where their family is really from and the book really does talk a lot about um people's genetics their their history their their ancestors their traditions um it talks a lot about food um and just like family um the way that families react with one another and behave with one another it, it does a really good job of talking about um family dynamics and um family traditions, um, the traditions of different cultures, um, all of that. Like, on top of just, like, being this amazingly well-crafted story with, like, plot twists and turns and all of these, like, amazing things that are happening and not necessarily all good, um, it ends on a high note but also there's like not everything is perfect um which there is gonna be a sequel so like there's gonna be something else in the future um it just honestly the character choices the, the choices of like what happened to the characters, the things they went through, and where they end up at the end from the beginning are just so well done. Just like, 
the, the progression makes sense yeah like the progression that the characters are making from A to B makes complete and total sense and not just for themselves but for the world that they're in and for each other <sighs> did it hurt me clearly um yeah uh obviously I am distraught <laughs> it's been a long time since a book has fucked me up this bad <laughs> a long time So anyway, um, clearly, highly recommend, you know, if you like any of the things that we, that I I've talked about, and I know I, I touched on this earlier, but this book is hella queer also, um, trans characters, gay characters, um, demi-romantic, um, just, just, it, it's, it's hella queer, which is great. It does talk about like the progress of people, um, like our, our the racial stances and how they have evolved um, a little bit. It's, I think it's like a hundred years ahead of us and so it talks a little bit about how things have changed but yet some things are still the same. I think we've talked about that earlier. Again, I started filming this a couple of weeks ago so I don't remember everything that we've talked about but um, I think it's a very topical work for our current social climate while also still being this really beautiful story about a girl learning who she is and who she's going to be she could be if she just learns to believe in herself and and it hurts me um so yeah um if you haven't already pre-ordered this book and it's not at your house today I have to recommend that you go out and buy it ASAP. Um, I have one coming in that I special ordered. I don't even remember where I special ordered it from but it's supposed to be like a super pretty version. Um, and I had already ordered, I had already pre-ordered one from Amazon uh, also and so I changed the shipping address on that to a friend who wanted it so that they can love it as well. If you haven't read it, do read it. Um, so so good. So amazing. I can't... <laughs> I just, I, I really... I've been talking a lot but I don't have words. For how much I love this. Okay, I'm gonna stop crying now. I'm not gonna stop crying now but I'm gonna stop crying on camera now. Um, Lizelle's YouTube channel will be linked down below and um, purchase links will be linked down below. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the book or about what you've read, um, if I, I guess I should, I'll have, I will look for a list of trigger warnings because I'm not great with trigger warnings because I don't, I'm privileged enough to not typically need them for books um, with the exception of like some body horror so I don't, I'm really bad at picking up on, on triggers um, so I will look for a list of those um, and put those down below as well um, so that if you need those you can have those. If you would like to see me cry more on camera, I will be doing more vlogs in the future. So I expect this to continue to happen. Um, I post reading, writing, and book related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything going on in the future, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! As I blow snot bubbles. Oh god. I hate you, Lizelle. I hate you. Oh, 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 oh